Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 27 in chapter 30. Chapter 30 is about inductance, electromagnetic oscillations, and AC circuits. So there we can see we have the circuit, right? And part A. And suddenly we switch the position A to the B. And we can see once we change the switch to B, the battery is removed. And in this loop, there are only resistor and inductor, right? So that means the current will flow out from inductor. The current will continue in inductor and then go through the resistor. And the resistor will make the current decays, right? And then how the current decays, we learned in this chapter, is this one. I equal to I naught times E. This is the exponent and the power negative T divided by tau. We can see I0 is the initial current once the switch to the B. So this one is very easy. We can think as V0 divided by R, right? And the tau is a time constant. So it's a constant is L divided by R. Now, how can you get the induced EMF in this inductor? So by definition, we have a negative L di dt. As we can see, the current decays with time t. So we input the i inside. Do the calculation, we find it looks like this one, right? And i naught times r, just v naught. So for this equation, you can see when is this epsilon can be maximum? Of course, at the very initial, t equal to zero, right? So that means the Maximum EMF, just V0. This is a part A. So look at part B, very similar, right? So still same thing. We can see, we think uh, initially the switch at position A. So we have a battery, the resistance R and L. Suddenly, the switch points to B. And then this battery is removed. And I ask you, show the maximum uh, EMF induced in the inductor there is during this time is this one. So we need to prove the maximum EMF equal to this term. So very similarly, we can see, as we talked in before, when the switch to the point B, the current in the inductor continues and it will be consumed by the R plus, right? So the current will decay with time. This is called RC decay. And we write the equation for RC decay. This is I naught E negative T divided by tau. Right? Yes. And then for this part, we can see the I naught is initial current. That is initial voltage V naught divided by R there. And now we need to find the induced EMF for this inductor. This one we can see. For this loop, we can use Chirhoff's first law. And then this is the induced EMF for inductor, right? Minus the current times the resistor. Because the current goes through the resistor, the voltage will drop, right? Will decrease. So times R plus equal to zero. Now we can write down the induced EMF as I times R plus. And this I is changes with time t, so put it inside. And then we can see we can replace I naught as V naught divided by R. Now from this term, we need to get the maximum of the epsilon max. So in this case, it, so this is t equal to zero. So this term E, this term is one. So the maximum is just the, what do we need to prove? This term, right? R plus over R times V naught. And if we, if we input all the given quantities, like this one, and V naught is 120 volts, we get it is 6.6 K volts. So the one equal sign is missed there. Thank you.